Welcome to JN Aquarium Supply. Today, it's all about the shrimp. Stay tuned. This is what today is about. This rock right here that is almost complete, just missing a 10 gallon down at the bottom. But those are my new shrimp cubes. This is the only tank on the rock that's not gonna have shrimp in it. And it's got a bunch of beautiful plecos growing out. And guppies. Lots of rotella. Lots of other plants I don't know the names of off by hand. But uh, this is my guppy slash plants slash pleco grow tank. We we'll put some alder cones in there, an oak leaf, and it's uh, fairly soft water here with a pH of 6.5. My dock tank is a 10 gallon tank and it just houses a couple extra male guppies. That guy, until he damaged his tails, absolutely stunning. Um, and then there's one of his babies and some rotella that we're growing out for sale and another plant that I don't know the name of it off the top of my head. Here's our crystal red tank. We have a ton of juveniles and babies in here. We only have a couple of adults in here, um, but it's doing well, it's growing out. Some of these guys look pretty good. There's a lot of baby green dragon plecos in here. They're just growing out and finding, just letting them stay in here until they get big enough to go to the big grow out tank. But this is a beautiful little tank. Again, it's got some almond, sorry, almond alder cones and some uh, oak leaves in it. Lots of water, lettuce, lots, lots of other plants. And it's doing just great. The gallon set up beside it, essentially is just holding Christmas moss at the time being. And there's a few small plecos in there as well of the green dragon variety looking into this tank on the bottom rock here today gave me much 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 joy this is my blue bolt tank i have blue bolts and blue bolt missouras in here and scattered all over the ground today are some pleco babies and some cool little blue bolt and blue bolt missouri babies some will turn out like shadow pandas like that one there the one in the middle of your screen that'll be a shadow panda that'll be a blue bolt after you've had a few spawns of these you can almost tell just by looking at them as baby baby day old babies what they're gonna turn out like there's some more back there there's one really neat one just above the pleco that one's gonna be a really cool Missouri. This little baby here most definitely is going to be a cool little Missouri. You can tell by it's pretty much white from the shoulders back. I guess where the saddle would be back. It's pretty much white and that's going to turn out to be a great blue bolt Missouri. So I have this food called All-in-One and what it is is just a powder. It's a powder food. I have it in between my fingers here. It's a powder food and I just take that Swish it in the water, fairly generously. And uh, it's a powder. All the babies, no matter where they are in the tank, are gonna find something to eat. And I think that's very, very important on their first day. There's a blue bolt, Missouri, right there. Adult coming out to see us. And I think this powder food is one of the keys to my success because all these little babies here look so you can see it with the camera that's great you see all these fine fine particles falling all around the baby shrimp and that's going to give them a great start and if there's leftovers these plecos will have no problems cleaning it up but everybody's getting food delivered to them here's the tank beside that tank and this is full of my cherry shrimp. I have quite a few cherry shrimp and snails and a couple of plecos in this tank and a whole lot of Christmas moss, water lettuce, 
duckweed. This tank is absolutely full. You can't even see most of the shrimp in this tank, but there's quite a few in here. There's a great big old female right there. But for the most part, they're fairly good quality. I see a couple of calls that gotta come out of here, but uh, lots of buried ones. That's a buried female. She's quite buried, fanning her eggs away, rolling them around. But this is my Neo Caradina cherry shrimp. This tank doesn't look like much. It's on the second row beside the crystal reds but it will look like something one day so far all we've done is put the ada amazonia in the tank and planted grass that grass will grow in a bit more it'll look uh, quite a bit like the tank uh, you're gonna see next but uh, this one's just getting started and I look forward to finding some new shrimp to put in there. that's the new rack I'm talking about but there's something special going on inside this tank. talked about this tank before. This is my 25 gallon long holding my shadow pandas. My shadow pandas were essentially calls from my Blue Bolt Missouris, but something special has happened today. As you can see, there's some extremely buried females in this tank. These are babies of mine, and these babies will be grandbabies of ours. And I've only found a couple, but there is a couple of babies in the tank. So I think somebody is in the process of giving birth right now. Look at that little fellow there. He's so cool to see how he turns out. At this point, I can only find a couple little babies, but they could be anywhere in this tank. This is a tank we planted grass in as well. And uh, it offers a lot of hiding spots for the shrimp. Snails, babies, hard to find, but I'm so happy to see that we've actually got some babies in here and we can see how this line is going to turn out. I'm really excited about this. It's been a great day coming down and seeing our shrimp. We worked so hard, so hard on raising shrimp. This was a whole new learning curve for me, still is, still learning. So much to learn about this, but I love raising Caradina shrimp. They offer challenges like no others. Yet very rewarding. So, happy fish keeping. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Till next time, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for viewing. We appreciate your support. Take care.